Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to mine or farm Chia, which is the greenest cryptocurrency in the world. It uses less energy, it is secure, decentralized and it leverages your existing hard drives. And most importantly, it is still profitable. It was even selected by the World Bank to track carbon credits around the globe. It truly has a great future in my opinion. I love Chia, let's get into it. Alright, Chia, the greenest cryptocurrency in the world, it uses less energy than the rest because it's not proof of work, it is proof of space and time. Head over to Chia.net and here you're going to find everything from the approach to the technology um, and then you can read more about this new consensus algorithm called proof of space and time. It, it pretty much uses your hard drives to create plots which are like large files and each, these large files you allocate them in your hard drives and then they generate, uh, over time, they generate Chia. All right, so we head over to the About. You can see more about the team. Uh, it was founded in 2017. And you may know Bram Cohen, he's the CEO. Uh, he was the founder of uh, BitTorrent, the, the largest decentralized file exchange system. Um, so great team there. If you head over to Chia.net, on, there's an article on 2021, 1018. It says mining versus farming, the data behind being green. Here you can read all about you know, proof of space and time and in how much actually you're saving by just using hard drives, right? Compared to, for instance, a Ant -Man Miner S19J Pro, a typical bit my, uh, Bitcoin miner. Uh, here it used to cost $10,000. It burns uh, 3,050 watts. That's uh, 447 a day versus 20, 18 terabytes. 50 times 20, uh, it costs 25 cents per day. All right, step number one is to know exactly how many plots we're gonna create. So we'll know how much TIA we're gonna get per month, so how much money we're gonna make per month, right? So we're gonna use this calculator, which is called chiacalculator.com. Head over there, and let's start plugging in the numbers. All right, so if we type one plot here, we can see that it equals to 101.4 GB bytes, uh, 100 plots, equals 9.9 terab terabytes. All right, there's a slight difference between terabyte and terabyte. So let's go over here. Uh, if you go to gbmb.org, you, you're gonna see the difference. For, let's, let's assume a hard drive of 14 terabytes, that equals 12.73 TB bytes. So always TB bytes are less than the actual terabytes. The manufacturer, you're gonna get it in, in terabytes but it's, that holds less amount of uh, data. So that's the difference. So let's assume you, you get a 14 terabyte hard drive. Know that in the actual calculator, you're gonna be able to only hold 12.73 terabytes. Okay, let's go back to the calculator, type that. So 12.73 terabytes. All right, so we know now that we can only create 129 plots. Mm -hmm. All right, and now that we know it's 129 plots, I'm gonna keep going down here. Uh, and based on the amount owned of the network, which is 0.0001%, expected time to win is 12 months. But that's only if we farm solo. We're gonna be farming on a pool, so actually we're gonna be seeing Chia every day, little pieces of Chia coming in every day. You see here, we're gonna get uh, 0.0002 per hour chias, or which represents 0.0056 per day, or 0.16, almost 17, 0.17 cents of a chia per month, which represents, let's see, let's update this, we know 32. All right, that represents $5.43 per month per hard drive of 14 terabytes hard drive. All right, let's head over to Amazon. I just found this uh, deal here on Amazon on an 18 terabyte hard drive, EXO uh, Enterprise hard drive is at 229.65. Uh, if I do 
229.65 divided by 18 terabytes. That's 12.75 uh, dollars per terabyte. We're gonna have to update the the, calc the calculator first. We're gonna convert. It's to 18 terabytes. There it is. Convert is 16.37 terabytes. So let's go back to the calculator. 37. I did it there. All right, 166 plot. So on an 18 terabyte hard drive, we can fit 166 plots, and it's gonna make us 7.02 seven dollars a month, pretty much seven dollars a month. So if we take, um, let's go back. How much? It's 229.65. So 225.29. 65 divided seven bucks a month you're gonna be recovering the the ROI is 32 months I know it's low but she has great potential and, and it, it can keep going up so let's keep going okay step number two is get your hard drives it can be uh, external hard drives like mine this is my one of my actual risks I have three uh, these are all external hard drives they are all connected uh, with uh, USB cables or get internal hard drives. Uh, you can see people get creative. Uh, your internal hard drives. Let's see. More rigs. These are external hard drives. External hard drives. These are internal hard drives. You can plug them in, a, in your existing uh, computer slots. Yes, and now these are external hard drives. So that's step number two. Get your hard drives connected, and then we're gonna we're gonna have to format them and create the partition. All right, so I created this list in Amazon just to, to know exactly everything that you may need. Uh, these are internal hard drives. They come in many sizes and there are different uh, cells going on depending on the time. You see from one terabyte up to 20 terabytes now. Um, if you have a free slot on your, on your computer, just go ahead and plug in there using the SATA, SATA, SATA cable. Uh, if not, you're gonna need one of these enclosures. Uh, for instance, this I've used it before. Um, you just open it, uh, put the, the the hard drive there, uh, close the lid, and that's it. You're gonna use a, you're gonna use a USB and then a 12 volt charger. Now, if you have many of these enclosures, uh, you're gonna need what I've used a data hub. I use a 16 port data hub for many of my rigs. Um, so you see you have 16 USB ports and they are all powered. So make sure it's power. There is this is power. Um, so that's that's another solution. And then it goes to co your computer or you can buy the entire enclosure. This is a Orico four, four hard drive bay enclosure. So you just open it, you put the, the internal hard drives there and then you plug into your computer and to the outlet. Um, make, make sure you check the, the amount of wattage uh, it consumes, right? This is a, a, a bay, it's a SIVA A bay uh, enclosure. You can put up to eight. Yep. All right, and once you have all your hard drives connected and your computer turned on, you're gonna recognize the new hard drives. You're gonna go to Windows and type here to search disk management. Okay, there it is create and format hard disk. Partitions, you open that tool. I'm gonna scan all your hard drives. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna label one, one by one, and we're gonna format them. So go ahead and click on the new, in the new volume you just installed, right click, click format, and then assign a new volume, and then format it here, okay. Okay, it's important to give them proper naming so you, you don't forget if you start getting you know many hard drives see have named them sequentially HDD 03 04 and so on all right step number three we need to download the latest client and we need to start creating plots on our hard drives right so you're gonna go to chia.net and then hit download here all right the latest version as of today is version 1.6.2 for 64 bit uh, it, here's the version for Mac OS this is for Windows so go ahead and download that. All right, I'm gonna go to the folder. The file is there. Double click, 1.6.2. Gonna start installing. License agreement, I agree. 
please select whether you wish to make this software available for all users or just yourself. I'm gonna do myself. Uh, then the location, Chia, install. Yep. Alright, installation complete. Setup was successfully or completed successfully. Click next. And install. Yep, I'm gonna install my previous. Here has been installed successfully. Perfect. It's going to open up now the client. This is the full node. All right, here you're going to have to select your client mode. Um, this is my recommended farming mode. I have my wallet mode, create and manage plot, and do everything. This is my full node. Uh, you can only, if you're you working on another computer, you just install the wall, wallet node. So I'm going to do that. Starting services. Takes a time. Yep, allow access. Allow access to the farmer. All right, and here, you're gonna have to create a new private key or import from mnemonics. So if you already created your 24 words, go ahead and import here. And there you are, you have the full node open. Here's the, the tokens, here's the Chia. Uh, main crypto coin so they're gonna the balance gonna keep accumulating there uh you have nfts you have offers full node here have all my sync connected to the main net this is the total network space then you have your plots and i'm gonna show you how to create plots here i have my three harvesters here all right and then farming i have 5939 plots uh, and then pooling, so this is important. We're gonna join a pool, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit add a plot NFT, you're gonna hit there, uh, you're gonna say connect to a pool, and then we're gonna paste here the URL for the uh, space pool, which is https colon slash slash na1.pool.space. All right, and then that's it, you have created. I'm not gonna create a second one, I already have one. All right, once you join the pool, you're going to go back to plots. And now we're going to start creating and adding plots to the hard drive. So you're going to hit plots, add a plot, then choose a plotter. There are several nouns by uh, uh, options. I'm going to go with Mad Max plotter I've used in the past. It worked really well. So I'm going to hit that one. Choose plot site by default. That's the smallest uh, K32. Just leave it there. Uh, you're going to be able to fit uh, many plots in, in one hard drive. Choose number of plots. In our example, we say our calculations estimated 166. So I'm gonna put you're gonna put the number of plots there. Now select temporary directory. This is important. You do want to have a temporary folder and in a different hard drive. For that, I recommend you use an MVE SSD. So you 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 may want to consider purchasing one of these uh, hard drives. See uh, SSD and it goes into the MVME port. So uh, it really it really speed up the process of plotting so once you have that installed you're gonna choose that uh, temporary location I have my MEs there you're gonna choose the, the location there select the folder and then the final directory this is where the hard drive is and where all the plots are gonna reside so go ahead and choose the hard drive that you're using I have many so you're gonna choose the hard drive you want select folder and then uh, the last step, six, is to join a pool. You wanna, you will just join, so you're just gonna select on the drop down. It's gonna show up the pool that we just joined with the name. That's pretty much it, and then you hit create, and you start creating the plots on your hard drive. All right, as your plots get completed, you're gonna start seeing them uh, in your actual hard drives. You can see in the explorer here, uh, you see this these files uh, with the prefix uh, plot dash k32, the size. Uh, and what I did is I added here the space use. You can you can right click and select space use. So you're gonna see how much space left in that in that hard drive. And you can keep an eye on all your hard drives. Then head over to pool that space. Here you're gonna 
uh, paste the launcher ID, which is uh, ID that is on the, your wallet, uh, on your full node. You'll see uh, under pooling where you, where you join the pool there, you, you have the launcher ID. Just copy and paste that there. Um, and then you're gonna see the, the space, the estimated plot size of, your, of all your files in here. It's gonna start increasing uh, as your plots get completed. It's also, uh, it changes in size. This is just an estimation, so you'll see how it changes. Uh, here's the unpay XCH that you, you have accrue. Here's the total pay. Every time you, you get pay, you'll see here accumulating. Uh, here, the number of blocks. Every time you find a block, you get pay on top of the daily payout. You get 25 cents of a chia. Um, and you're gonna see every time you hit a block, it's gonna tell you the day and the time, so you know you're hitting a block. Um, depending on the luck, right? Uh, the rewards, uh, you can see the breakdown by the last 20, 12 hours, last 24, today, yesterday, and seven days. The partials, this tells you if your uh, full node and your uh, harvesters are working all right. If you start seeing yellows and, and some uh, stale partials, you see the percentage there. Usually, you know, it's healthy to be under one or 2%. Uh, so everything looks good here. Uh, here's all the partials you'll see there. All right, and then uh, the longer you stay with space pool, you know, the longer the tenure, you, you're gonna get a discount. Uh, and you'll see here the, the, the rank as well here. Uh, leaderboard, and you, you, you'll see this is the top. You know, this is number one. Quite a few, yes, <laughs> number one has 59 petabytes. As of today, this is the top 100, but you should get a a estimation of, of where you stand on the overall leaderboard um, right here okay there's so much more we can talk about chia for now you should be able to start farming some xch collecting those rewards and exchange them or keep them as investment right uh, this is an amazing project so we have a lot of future uh, ahead of us anyway i hope you guys like the video hit that like button drop me a comment below happy farming see you in the next one